Hey guys, it's Andrew from Simply Comprehensive Guide here, and today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks in Adobe Animate. So first I'm going to show you how to edit your workspace. So if you've just started using Adobe Animate, you might find some of the tools aren't very useful to you, or that they're just in the wrong place. So to add or remove any of the tools, just head up to Window, and select the tools you want in your workspace, and deselect the tools that you don't want in your workspace. To move any of the tools, just click and drag the name. If you want to move the whole panel where the tool is, click and drag on the bar just above the names. If you want to dock a window of tools, drag it around the area you want it to be until a blue bar shows up, signifying that you can dock the window there. Next up is the transformability. So if you want to make something that you want to flip vertically or horizontally, simply select the object, then right click on it, head down to transform, and select flip vertical or flip horizontal, or hit to modify, and go to the same area. There are also other things you can do in the transform section, but you can't really do anything that special with them in my opinion. Next up is the insert section. Now the first thing you can insert is a new symbol. Now symbols are very useful tools, which I actually made a video about, link in the description. But what's unique about this option is that you can just make one from scratch. You don't have to draw anything in the main timeline to make a symbol. So once you create your symbol, you no longer be in the main timeline. You will actually be in the symbol, but if you want to exit the symbol, just hit the back arrow in the top left corner. The next three options in the insert section are just the three tweens, which I also made a video about. After that is timeline, where you can create a new layer, layer folder, frame, keyframe, blank keyframe, you get the idea. And finally is the scene option. And that brings us to our next tip, the scene. Now when you first make an animate file, the animation is just blank, and it's in scene 1, and this is the only scene you can get to start with. And to create a new scene, you have to hit this option. Now although scenes are part of the same animation, they are basically independent of each other. If you create a new scene, nothing from the previous scene is in there, not even the layers or folders in the timeline, which essentially gives you the ability to start fresh whenever a scene starts to get pretty long. You also have the ability to test a specific scene by hitting Control, Alt, Enter, and a number at the same time, or heading up to Control and selecting Test Scene. This is really helpful when you're making a longer animation, and you don't want it to take forever for the animation to load, then having to watch the whole animation just to check a tiny part of the end. So that all does it for this video. If you enjoyed and you found this helpful, please leave a like down below. And if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or video ideas, please leave them in the comments section down below. And other than that, I have been Andrew, your semi-confidential guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.